water and coconut coir. It's all that's needed to grow green beans and tomatoes. In Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso, farmers from several African countries are learning how to farm without soil. Ajara to Sanogo began using hydroponics some years back after noticing that vegetable supplies in the city's markets run short at certain times of the year. Farmers here have been working in a traditional manner since time immemorial, but the soils are in a poor state and harvests are dwindling. Many of the farmers can't even feed themselves anymore, let alone sell their crops. I think this method is better. We buy the basics and then grow more produce. Experts fear that agricultural yields in the Sahel region will go down by 30 percent. In response, Ajara to Sanogo has set up a training center with international support. She wants to pass on her knowledge to others. The course is fully booked up. Word has even got out to people in neighboring countries like Mali, Chad or Congo, thanks to her use of social media. The participants have a mix of business and personal interests. I'm taking part in the course because I want to be able to grow organic food for me and my family at any time of the year. With hydroponics, you are not reliant on the seasons. You can harvest all year round. With the help of hydroponics, the trainees can learn to grow larger vegetables more quickly. For this special training, they pay the equivalent of 10 euros. Many of them take more courses, stay longer, and pay more. We chose to make the full training course four months long because it takes roughly four months from planting to harvest. That way, they get to know all the stages of production. Both theory and practice are vital. Clay pellets, coconut fiber, or organic compost are all organic substrates that can be used instead of soil. In the greenhouse, tomatoes can also grow during the rainy season and can be picked regularly. Soon, tomatoes, onions, and chili peppers will be on their way to an organic store. A local cooperative sells produce to environmentally conscious customers here. To ensure the organic farmers also get their fair recompense for their work, you need to have a retail channel for organic vegetables. The farmers aren't just protecting the environment by using organic methods and products, but they're also protecting their own health and the health of consumers by using these means. But organic produce is too expensive for many city dwellers. They still grow their own food, if they can. There are small areas in the city set aside for this purpose, but municipality is afraid that they are disappearing. Experts expect the number of inhabitants to double in the next 10 years. However, waste disposal companies would also profit as they could provide organic compost for the new planting method. Hydroponic farming offers Burkina Faso a lot of benefits, particularly given the problems we face. We can grow more and far more diverse crops. The farmers would also earn more using this method. At the same time, it would also allow us to recycle a lot of urban waste, solid and liquid. That would make the city cleaner and greener. Climate researchers in West Africa also confirm that new cultivation methods are urgently needed. Increasing desertification has reduced the amount of arable land, shifting the zone where cultivation is possible between 30 and 150 kilometers further south. There is a direct link between agricultural production and food security. We need solutions, such as the so-called smart farming, that can adapt to the climate. This allows us to secure food supplies for our people and take them out of the vicious circle of climate risks and poverty. Ajara to Sanogo's training course is going in the right direction. Baron farmers like Damute Kibangu say they will definitely put their new knowledge to use. I'm going home, where I'm hoping to set up a small greenhouse. That's 30 square meters in size or even 50. 
In the long term, I'd like to put into practice everything that we are learning here in my homeland, the Democratic Republic of Congo. The initiative has now started giving courses in 20 rural communities. Ajaratu Sanogo has connected farmers via social media mm -hmm. to create one virtual cooperative, thus making sure that healthy produce can be available in many more places across Burkina Faso.